You can have anything you want as long as you believe you can have it. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Ophelia and today I'm going to be talking about lucky girl syndrome and it has been very popular in TikTok. It's, I'm going to talk about it because it's something that I absolutely love and I definitely think it works and yeah, so in this video I'm going to be talking about what lucky girl syndrome is, some of my success stories to show that it does work and some of like affirmations and videos that I watch in order to help me manifest and not to do when you're trying to have lucky girls and also the things that you should be doing uh, for it to work and maximize the results of it so let's get on with the video now some of the things you want to be doing in order for lucky girl syndrome to work is obviously the first thing is you've got to be delusional almost you have to genuinely believe that you're lucky you have to believe that you have these things genuinely live out your life as if you already live in your dream house as if you already i don't know are eating in your favorite restaurants as if you're already doing the job that you really want that you've already got the degree that you want that you're working the job that you want and you genuinely have to believe that you're just doing it the next thing you want to do is I love scripting. So you're going to write out exactly your day as it would be in this dream life. So you're going to write out, I wake up in this house and I have this for breakfast, whatever it is that your like dream breakfast is. And then I, I don't know, go to the gym or I have a personal trainer and then um, I go to my dream job, whatever that dream job may be, no matter how crazy, you're not thinking about how you're going to get this, you're just thinking that you have this, and nothing is too crazy, like, you genuinely just have to believe that you have that, and you're not thinking about how you're going to get it, who's going to give it to you, you're just believing it, that you have it right now, and you're going to write this out, and then every day, not every day, every day you're going to write that you have these things, but some days you're going to specifically script out the day, and a lot of people have said this, like celebrities and stuff, they've said that they've written this stuff out, then they've forgotten about it, and then they found it one day, and the exact things that were on there came true. Another thing you're going to want to do is a vision board. Vision boards are so amazing. The thing is, you're going to print out pictures of everything that you want, the exact house that you want, the exact job that you want, everything that makes you think of those things that you want. You're going to put it all into a vision board, and then you're going to you're going to print it off and you're going to put it somewhere, but you're not going to put it somewhere you're going to forget about it. You're going to put it somewhere that you're going to see it every single day. So whether it be right in the view of when you wake up or somewhere where you drink your coffee, like I drink my coffee in the same place every day and I have it in the kitchen and then I have it on my phone and then I have it in the living room where I drink my coffee on the sofa. I have it opposite me. I promise you that if you're constantly looking at these things that you want, your mind is just going to be programmed to see this these things. It's the same with manifestation and meditation. If you in the morning wake up and you think about white roses, it has been tested that you will then go out and see those white roses. If you're constantly thinking about negative things, you're only going to see those negative things. But if you're thinking about white roses because maybe you want your boyfriend to buy you more flowers or you want, I don't know, you don't like that your job is so grey and dark and you want like a very light environment, you want to be working from home. If you're going to be waking up in the morning and seeing these things and thinking about these things, you're more likely to see these things and these things are going to be, these opportunities are going to be more visible to you and you're going to be gravitating towards those things. Also, the people that are surrounded by you are so important. If you're constantly surrounded by people that are telling you that you're not going to achieve your dreams, you're not going to have those things. Obviously, sometimes it's hard when it's coming from like family or stuff, but you have to just kind of block those things out. And if you can, distance yourself from the people that are telling you that you can't have those things, that you're being delusional, that you're being crazy, because I can promise you that you genuinely can. I was working a job that I hated in a coffee shop. And within a few months, most of my job is now like social media and going in for like movie stuff as an extra or like shoots and stuff. It is possible if you genuinely believe it and you need to surround yourself by people that are going to push you up and you're going to push those people up. And then you're going to feel like you're growing together as people, whereas you can't be friends with people that are pulling you down and making you think that you can't have these things. Same way, if there are things in the house that are making you think negatively or that don't bring you happiness, get rid of them. The more space you have, the more space you have for thinking and putting things that you can have. I have this rule that I won't 
buy anything until I get rid of something, like sell it, give it away to charity, and then I can have something else, because it's like, if you give things away, you will have them, I also believe that if you give into what you want, for example, like, I pay for acting classes and stuff, and I believe if you pay for those things, and you go to, like, theatres and stuff then that thing is going to bring you money back if you put money into something it will probably bring you money back if you're like because it's kind of like an investment into the universe kind of thing and I genuinely believe that that works so if you want something try investing in it as well as well. meditation is also a huge part of this waking up in the morning listening to a meditation that's telling you to think about like money or like positive things or love if that's what you want to attract whatever it is you want to attract listening and thinking about these things is going to make you see more of them outside now things that you don't want to do is you do not want to think of things you don't want you're not gonna when you're scripting or anything you don't want you don't want to write i don't want a toxic relationship i don't want to have this you're gonna everything you're writing is i want i have mostly I have or it's coming towards me it's gravitating towards me you don't want to do anything that's like I don't anything negative even if you're saying you don't want to you're actually attracting the things you don't want so you want to only say positive things and turn that negative thing of I don't want into what it is that you do want and only try and think about those things only try and write those things down and then those negative things you're not going to see them as negatives because you're going to have only seeing the positive stuff obviously negative things are still going to happen that's life and that's always going to happen but you're going to think when something good happens you're like oh, i'm so lucky i'm so happy that happened to me like these things are happening to me all the time so like i am lucky but that just happens like it's not that crazy but just kind of be like i'm so happy that happened but loads of those things are happening and then when something negative happens you're just going to be like oh like that happens oh well it's not that big of a deal because all these other things happened and that's just a tiny thing that's not affecting my life obviously it's easier to say right now than it is but over time it's going to get easier and easier it's the whole fake it till you make it and you're going to start seeing all those positive things you're going to start seeing those positive people and those people are going to be gravitating towards you you never know who you're going to meet in these places that's going to pull you up into where you want to be a lot of jobs and stuff are things of people you meet that will like recommend you or pull you up or give you a contact or something something and genuinely if you're nice and have this energy and uh, things you want you're going to attract those people into your life and it's going to help so much so you don't want to do anything negative you don't want to surround yourself with negative people and everything that you do want you want to do that and get rid of things that are not bringing you this happiness and all these thoughts first of all lucky girl syndrome is basically just manifestation just kind of remade to be popular again on tiktok and other social media platforms it's basically reprogramming your mind to believe that you're lucky and that you can have anything that you want as long as you believe that you already have it or that it is coming towards you and you there's nothing stopping you from having it in your mind if you believe that you can have it then your brain is more likely to lead you towards things that are going to make it happen and it's going to make it attract it because you're in more of a positive mindset positive things are going to come towards you and through this you're going to feel that things are working out for you so you're going to want to do more of them and in turn it will bring success and make you feel like you are lucky because all these positive things are going to be happening to you and you're not going to see the negatives as much which is going to just by the way your brain is working it's just going to make you believe that you are lucky and you can genuinely have anything you want if you don't believe that you could have it then you're not going to have it because why would you have something that you don't believe you can no, no one that's got success has been sat there going oh i can't have it i'm not going to have it i I have no success I can't do that because I haven't got this or I can't do that because I've got don't have the money or something you have to genuinely believe that it's kind of like fake it till you make it at first you're going to feel almost stupid but you genuinely just have to reprogram your brain if you think about it for long enough you're genuinely going to believe that you're just a lucky person and it wasn't until I was at uni and I started reading into it that things started to happen and I was like oh I can have these things and they are possible when in the past they seemed like I could never have those things and they weren't possible so some of my success stories just to kind of show you that it's worked for me is as a child I always wanted to be an actor do into like modeling I wanted to have stuff sent to me from brands to review like a really nice boyfriend and I wanted to have a university degree and I wanted to graduate and 
I wanted to start a YouTube channel and all this other stuff and at uni I started joining like agencies and stuff because I've been doing theatre for about 10 years or so but I was never like really doing anything apart from this one theatre that I was going to and I started believing that like like ever since I was young I always thought that I would be an actor and I would make it and I'd be making money off of that kind of stuff like I just always believed that and I just there was no doubt in my mind like people used to say oh it's so hard to be an actor like you have to have famous parents to be an actor and all this stuff but I genuinely always believed that I was going to be an actor and even like my family and everything they always like believed in me to do it and even when I was born my grandma was like oh like she's gonna win an Oscar when she's older like you know um I mean obviously not to that extent just yet but I mean I genuinely believe that like these things are going to happen and I started to do loads of like extra work through an agency and I mean in the first year when I wasn't really believing it I wasn't getting any extra work and like but I mean for the first year of being in one of my agencies I was not getting any work I was just like sitting there and I was like oh my god maybe I'm just never gonna be able to be on a movie set or anything and it genuinely started to think like it wasn't going to happen but then I started to like script and I started writing down like oh um I believe that I'm going to be on a movie set I believe that I'm going to be an actor I believe that brands are going to send me stuff all this stuff just writing down exactly what I wanted and it got to the point where at one point I started getting loads of auditions all of a sudden and loads of just castings to be an extra in a movie in a tv show in adverts and all this stuff and it just they all started coming and I was like two or three times a week even now that I can do this kind of stuff and when I first got on set I was like wow this is amazing and it just felt I felt so comfortable and I was so happy because it was obviously my biggest dream to be on a movie set and genuinely it wasn't until I started genuinely believing that I can have it and I already am an actor and have these things that these things started happening and then my agency I had brands start sending me products to review and I was getting paid at first I wasn't getting paid I was just getting sent products to review them for like the company websites and then I started having brands be like we'll pay you for trying out these products so I was getting to try out like skincare products and getting paid for it and I always wanted to have like things like skincare and stuff sent to me to review and I was like oh my god this is actually happening at the same time as all the acting stuff is coming through and then one of the biggest things that happened to me recently since I started really manifesting is I always wanted to be in like an advert or like modeling shoots but I was never tall enough to be in any agency or anything and it wasn't until a brand reached out to me and they said that they were doing like a startup for this brand I got invited for a shoot and it was like a full setup and it was just me and I got my photos taken and I got sent the products and I mean, it was honestly such an amazing experience, one that I never thought I would have, especially not if I wasn't with like a modeling agency or anything. So, I mean, it has honestly been such a dream to be able to do a job that is my dream and always has been my dream since I was a little girl. And I mean, it does work. Anyway, I think that's most of what I wanted to cover. And if you like these kinds of videos, please like and subscribe because I'm planning to post much more of these kinds of videos. And yeah. Thanks so much for watching if you stayed to the end. Thanks for watching. Bye!